Tonight, the controversy at a local pond continues. You may remember Johnson's Pond here in Coventry was recently bought for nearly $2 million. A lawsuit making its way through court centers on the dam and the lease between the town and the pond's owners. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been working this story since the beginning and joins us now with why the DEM and the new owners are at odds. Anita? Well, a major part of the dispute between the town of Coventry and the new owners of Johnson's Pond is this, the dam, and whether or not it's safe. Now DEM issued a four-page letter weighing in on the issue. The sale of Johnson's Pond has residents concerned for its future. Property owners say the water levels are low for this time of year. A lease between the town of Coventry and the pond's owners, Socia Holdings LLC, is being disputed in court. It dictates the water levels and maintenance of the pond's dam, which the attorney for the pond's owner says isn't being done. There's clear erosion throughout the entire dam structure, and erosion leads to seepage. Doherty pointed to trees and shrubs along this dam that need to be removed, among other issues, arguing over. Over time, it may impact the structural integrity of the dam. If the dam fails, the owners are liable. The SOCIAs are keeping the water levels lower to allow for maintenance to be done, which is the responsibility of the town. Just as Bill Belichick said, do your job. Do what's required of you. DEM, which inspects dams in the state, issued a letter this week stating there is no risk to the dam that would require lowering the water level to make the dam safe. Right now, there's nothing that would compel us to order any of this work to be done. It doesn't rise to the level of unsafe. The latest dam safety report found the structure to be in fair condition, but needing some repair. DEM said Social Holdings has not violated the water levels as written in the lease, but some property owners around the pond take issue with the new owners keeping water levels at the lowest as outlined in the agreement. A lot of people are upset. They're nervous. They're worried about what's going to happen here. and, mm -hmm. and this is historically low for what we've seen in April. Coventry town officials wouldn't comment, citing the ongoing lawsuit. Now, the pond's owners say they have an agreement to maintain water levels with what's written in the lease until May, so this issue remains fluid. In Coventry, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. The DEM is weighing in on a controversial issue that has the town of Coventry divided. As we first told you last month, Johnson's Pond was recently sold here. The new owners and the town are in court over a dispute about a dam. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has the details on what's the state's DEM saying tonight. Anita? Residents here on Johnson's Pond say water levels are low for this time of year, but the pond's new owners maintain they are complying with what's written in the current lease. But a major part of the dispute between both parties is this, the pond's dam. The attorney for the pond's new owner took 12 News on a tour of the dam, detailing the maintenance issues he says the town is responsible for but isn't doing. Water levels are low to allow for maintenance, but don't violate terms of the lease, according to the pond owner's attorney, Patrick Doherty. My clients have to comply with the needs of the downstream at the same time while complying with the requirements of the lease. Doherty argues the lack of maintenance will impact the structural integrity of the dam over time. The pond owners are liable if it fails. DEM, which inspects dams in the state, issued a letter this week outlining what they believe the owner's legal rights are when it comes to the water levels. We believe that if the owner wants to change the water levels from what they have historically been at, they need to get a permit from DEM. The letter concluded there is no risk to the dam that would require lowering the water level to make the dam safe. The latest dam report found the structure to be in fair condition but needing some repair. If you don't maintain something over time, the cost to, to bring it back up to snuff to where it should be exacerbates exponentially. Mm -hmm. John Pasqua with the Johnson's Pond Civic Association, which represents property owners on the pond, explained residents take issue with the new owners keeping water levels at the lowest level as outlined in the agreement. You know, this is a, a resource that we've all had for over a century here, mm -hmm. and, and now for it to be threatened, is, is, it's, it's concerning and it's frightening for a lot of people. Coventry Town officials are not commenting, citing the ongoing lawsuit. Now, the pond's owners say they have an agreement to maintain water levels with what's written in the lease until May, so this issue remains fluid. In Coventry, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.